Welcome everybody. Here's a quick video demonstrating how to get going with your Stream Deck and configure it to be used with a Unity Intercom client so that you can then simply press buttons on the Stream Deck to talk or set your listen channels or assign these buttons to be an individual person on Unity Intercom so you can just press and talk one to one. Um, it's highly configurable, so you can do just about anything. Getting started, I'm on Elgato's website. So that's where you would go once you plugged in your Stream Deck, um, or didn't necessarily plug it in, but the first thing you need to do is get the software. You'll go to elgato.com, and I'm on their main page. And we're going to want to go to their Downloads link, which is in the upper right. And so we're going to go to Downloads, and you'll be presented, of course, with Windows or Mac. Um, it has detected that I'm on a Mac and I am going to uh, grab the download for the Stream Deck for Mac right here. Once downloaded and installed, you will need to install the Unity Intercom plugin for Stream Deck, available at unityintercom.com. Then we're gonna launch the Stream Deck software, and it looks like this. It's all of those buttons that you just saw, they are assignable buttons here, so they're all blank. So the left side, of course, these are our buttons. The right side are the different modules that are available. And at the bottom here, I've just installed the Unity Intercom module. So this is gonna be real simple. It's a nice drag and drop interface. And so, for example, this, this all comes with it. So if I wanted the uppermost left button to be a power button on and off, I'm just gonna left click, drag and drop right here. So I've just now made that button a power on and off button. So it's just that simple. And you can do the same thing for set brightness. Um, this is used in many different, this is used a lot in the gaming industry, um, video editing, YouTubers, and we're gonna use it for Unity Intercom because this thing's just super, super uh, configurable and, and very affordable. So I'm deleting these because that was just kind of for demonstration purposes. So let's go over here and here's the Unity Intercom plugin. Now, not to make this confusing, all we are really doing here is just choosing to make these configurable buttons Unity Intercom buttons. You don't do anything real fancy here. For example, the page two, page three, page four stuff, that's because you can choose, it's kind of like a folder. You can make one of these buttons a folder, which brings you into another page. So like I'm presented with, you know, I've got my 15 buttons here and this is considered like page one, but I can, I can make a folder, which would bring me to a whole new set of 15 buttons. That's the difference between page two, page three. So again, all we're worried about is the page one button. And we're going, because this is our first layer, you can think of it as like layer one, layer one button. This is just a Unity Intercom blank programmable action button. So I just drag it, drop it off. And I have made this space, and it, you, it's difficult to see, but it's a little bit darker. These are sort of gray, and this one's like a dark black. It's been programmed um, as an action button. And again, we're in the Unity client, we're gonna actually give it an action. We're gonna tell it what it is. So I'm gonna drag and drop this one. We're still on layer one or page one. I'm dragging my button here. And so what I've done right now is I've made this top row Unity Intercom buttons, and these are unprogrammed buttons. So what I can do now, and you can choose when to do this. Some people may just take and drag and fill all of these up with the Unity Intercom action buttons. That's probably what you should do. And so I'm gonna fire up my Unity Intercom Mac client it will automatically detect that I have a Stream Deck plugged in via USB. So I'm gonna click on this icon right here, just, just to make sure everybody saw what I did. I clicked on this little representation down here, and this refers to programmable buttons. This is the, where you would go for X keys and for the Stream Deck. This brings me to my key panel setup. So my actions are up here in the top, and on the bottom is a visual representation. So you can see page one, again, think of it as layer one, page one. Um, here's our 15 buttons. They're, they're these buttons right here. And so I can click on this one right here and you can see 
It kind of blinks, lets me know where I'm at. So we have to assign this programmable button to do something. So let's just say this is going to be um, either the talk button or party line channel one for talk. Um, so like, for example, if I click T1, that is my talk one position. That is the reason it says stud is because it is the channel one position. Now, let's say I wanted to kind of map this. I could come over here and make the listen stud beneath it. So I would come down here to that's this one's going to be a little different. Okay, so so keep bear with me here. I got to figure out where this where this button is. So I'm going to come over here. It's actually this six position, and so ah that 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 helps me find it. So I can set this to be listen one, but it's not going to do anything yet because I actually didn't grab the page one unity programmable action button on top of that yet. So even though I set it up to be listen one in position six, which is right here, um, it's not gonna do anything because I need to come over here and I need to grab and uh, drag and drop that off right there. So now that is listen one, talk one, listen one. Now right away, you might see that they are identical looking. So it's hard to tell which one is which. And so what I do is I come over here and let's grab this one right here, for example. And I would make this a different color. And so I'm going to choose uh, cyan. You make it any color you want. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna make this green, because these are the colors that I'm used to. So I'm clicking on this little um, text indicator and uh, my color, and I'm down here, and I'm gonna choose green. And so now this is green and this is blue. I'm actually gonna change this a little bit. I want, I want this to be a little more noticeable blue. There we go. And so this is my listen channel and this is my talk channel. And this is for party line channel one. So that's the, what I've just done. The beauty of this is you can customize this to be anything you want. You can arrange it in any way that makes sense to you. So further going along with this, let's, let's say that in the lower right, I wanna make this a talk button. So remember, it's lightly grayed out. I haven't, I haven't assigned this as a uni unity action button yet. So I'll need to come up here to my layer one or my page one button drag it there and drop it off. Now it is a programmable action button. So where is this button? So I'm coming over here to the page one. It's, it's this position, click it. There we are. So that is the 15 position. Let's make it a talk button. There we go. So it's just that simple. So now I have party line talk one, party line listen one. I have a talk button right here. Um, I can also come over here and I could say, so let's make a direct, I wanna be able to push one of these buttons and talk to someone specifically, like uh, my partner Chuck here. So let's go over here and make, uh, let's, let's make it right here. So I'm gonna drag and drop a Unity action button. So now this is programmable and I'm gonna come over here to my graph. I, I guess that's the 13 position, there we are. I'm gonna go ahead here and select from my drop down a private talk, let's say Chuck. So that is now a direct private talk button for Chuck. And so you can see that you can program this in a lot of different ways to make this super flexible by changing colors. Um, I mean, you can just really customize this. Now, you can also change the title of a button here. However, changing this title will override this um, and it will, it will override for, you can start getting confused because things will be labeled one way in the Unity client, but labeled a different way on the Stream Deck. So be, just be careful with that. I don't want you to get um, a little off balance to where labels are not matching up. So I tend to do all my labeling in the Unity Intercom software. 
And the last thing I was going to show you, because um, there, there's a lot here, but this is just to get you started so that you're not disoriented. You know, you'll you'll figure this out real quick. This is not bad. Um, folders are how we move from pages to pages. So I can, uh, and this is this all comes with that software. I can grab a create folder and drop it off here. This folder um, allows me to, see I just clicked it, it brought me to another set of 15. So you can think of this as layer two or page two. This is our go up a level indicator, it's kind of uh, universal here. So that I'm now back on page one. This is the main page, but I've got this folder option. So if you click the folder on the actual stream deck, when you click this, what it's going to do is going to bring me to another set. So what uh, I've seen some people do is they have their party line channels set up here, and then they click the folder and they have all of their direct private messages here. So I'll 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 do that again. So I'm not on page one. I need to be on page two. So I'm going to grab a page two programmable button here, drop it off. Now I'm going to come over here to page two. And this is, you see how 16 is grayed out because 16 is your back button. 16 is to go up a level. We need this button so that we can navigate back to page one. So this becomes all these, all these first upper lefts are going to be ineligible, of course, because that's our navigate back. So I'm going to click on 17. This is going to be, and I'm going to label this. Let's do maybe an, oh, an all page. I think let's talk to Brian. So I'm going to put Brian here in this first position. And so when I'm using my stream deck, I can be talking and, um, and on my party line channels and I can hop down here and I would have potentially all direct talks. You get to do this however you want to do this. But that is, um, that is in essence, that's how you get going. The stream deck software has to be running all the time, but you can still X out of this at any, at any point. Um, because it's still running as a process in the far upper right-hand corner, along with the Unity Intercom icon. And once configured, you're ready to go. And you can use your Stream Deck um, as an extension, so you don't have to be clicking on the Mac or Windows client. You can just press those buttons. So it's very, very powerful. Um, it already seems to have a lot of interest. So this should be a really, really neat feature and, and just, just an improvement overall. And... Uh, but we'll, I'll continue to make some videos as we progress, but this will get you guys started. Thank you so much.